In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a custom ChatGPT bot for your website in less than 10 minutes. So the best way to show you how this works is to show you. So let's pretend that this is your website and people have questions about your business. So on the bottom right hand corner, they can click on this chat widget and this chat widget is powered by ChatGPT4. And so the first thing people will see are programmable questions that maybe you commonly get about your business and they can choose any one of these questions by clicking on the button and then automatically ChatGPT4 will respond with the correct answer that you programmed in your prompt, which I'll be showing you guys how to do. But the power of this system is really that you can interact with it in conversational mode. So for example, let's say that I have this question about you know this company and I'm an affiliate of them. This is a common question I get. So people ask me, hey, I'm an affiliate. How do I access the resources, the snapshots, the courses, et cetera? So when they click on this button, this is automatically going to you know send them a response based on what I've programmed, which is very comprehensive. And I've noticed that this follows the prompt really nicely. I've tested a bunch of other softwares, including Go High Levels Conversation AI, and this one far outperforms it. So not only will it respond with the proper answer based on you know what you program in the prompt, but people can actually interact with the bot through just pure conversation. So I can say, um, what is included inside SaaS in a box, which is a product that I offer. And so instead of you know selecting one of these, I can just type a question and then GPT-4 will answer. And then it even pulls a link to a video that I put in the prompt. So it tells them and kind of summarizes the text that I have in the prompt. And then on top of it, it will actually send a video of what's included. So someone can you know open this link up and basically watch a video of me breaking down what's included in the actual product. And you can see people actually do go to this link because there's about 1500 people that have watched this video. So they can watch a full breakdown of what's included in video form, but they can also still interact via text. So I can say is follow up SMS included. And it's going to pull from the actual text and even break down specifically the content that's inside of the snapshot, right? And so in addition, there are also SMS messages included for appointment, no show reminders, appointment confirmations and appointment reminders. So it gives them a very accurate answer of what's in the actual snapshot. And then they can say, how do I purchase it? And then it's going to give them a direct link for purchasing it. And then I can say, do I get this if I am a paying affiliate though? And then it's going to send a response, which the correct answer is yes. So as a paid affiliate of me, you get access to this snapshot and then it just shows them, you know, where the access to these materials are. And then if they're not, you know, if they paid and they don't have access, they can check their email or they can reset their password or fill out a form for manual checking. Now, I haven't uploaded a link to this specific form yet because there's some changes that I'm making, which you guys will have to stay tuned for. But. Basically, this is how this thing works, and it's really powerful, and it's really easy to set up. So that's what the actual system can do. Now, let's go back to the instructions so I can show you guys how to build this for yourself. So I demoed the, the chatbot with programmable buttons or common questions. So these are um, you know, the questions you can see right here. So I can just click on any one of these, and it will generate a response. And then I can also interact with it just by typing, which I showed you guys here. So we covered that. So how do you actually create your own chatbot? So the software that I'm using is called Chatbase. There is an affiliate link if you guys want to support my channel. Um, I do make a commission if you guys you know sign up for a paid plan, um, but they do have a free account that you can get started with, um, and you can start kind of uh, you know testing around the actual bot. There's going to be some limitations from the free version versus the paid. But like I said, if you guys want to support the channel, you guys can be an affiliate of, of me on this software and use this. OK, so that's linked below. Now, how do we actually create the chatbot? So it's super simple. Once you sign up for an account, you can use the link below or just go directly to chatbase.co and you can click on new chatbot. And then from here, we have five different ways that we can upload data. What I have found works the best is simple text, um, you know, uploading text to the chatbot. So for example, this is like the format that I use, which is just a simple question one with a colon and then kind of like a few key words that are related to you know, um, the question and then an answer, right? So I'll just take this affiliate link 
and um, you know basically you know copy this and then I just put this right here into the chat based text uh, you know part of the system and then I just click on create chatbot and oh it's gonna say not enough content so I don't know if I need to add more here but let me see okay so I just copied more questions and answers that way you know we can get this thing going so I'm gonna click on create chatbot and then within just a few seconds it's gonna create the chatbot and then it's gonna train the um, you know chatbot on the actual data okay and obviously the less data you put the faster it's gonna get trained but you should be able to upload quite a bit of text documentation without you know it taking very long at all so since I have a paid plan I recommend GPT-4 um, it is a little bit slower than GPT 3.5, but it provides a way better response. And then I just recommend the temperature at zero. This basically, the higher this number goes, the more variance it's going to create in the actual response. So we want it to stick a little bit more specifically to the questions that I've outlined. I don't want it to send, you know, inaccurate information. So I'm just going to leave this at zero. And then for my settings, since I have the premium version, I'm just going to go down to model and then choose GPT-4 and then this is where you can adjust the temperature and you can play around with it on your own but I recommend it being at zero. So I'm just going to click save. All right. And then now all we have to do if we want to embed this on like our go high level website or something like this, you just click on embed on site and then by continuing your chatbot will become public and you're just going to click make public. And then you're just going to copy this, uh, you know, script right here. This script is going to enable you to utilize the actual chat widget feature. If you copy the iframe, this is just going to be like a text box on your site, which usually isn't, you know, the way to do it. So just copy this script here, go into high level or wherever you have your websites and then click on settings. And then I'm going to just delete this one, which was the original one that I showed you. And then I just paste that in right here and then click on save. And so just like that, give it a few seconds. Now, if we click on, you know, this homepage right here, we're going to see our chat widget right here. And then you can see there's no programmable buttons here um, because I just, you know, I just pretty much created the, the bot as is, but I can interact right here and say, you know, since the first question that, you know, I put in the actual prompt is the 30 day affiliate trial link. So I can say, do you have an affiliate link for a 30 day trial? And then it's going to send the link. So there it is. So it's already working. Now, last quick thing, if you guys want to see how to program the actual uh, bot so that you can add in different uh, pre-configured questions and things like that, I'll show you how to do that. So all you're going to do is go to settings and then you're going to go to chat interface and then we have all these different things you can customize and then we have our suggested messages. So I can just kind of take the prompt that I've got here and then I can uh, paste this right here and then enter each message in a new line. So if that's question one that I want to add right there, then I can copy question two right there. Let me uh, close this and just click return or enter. And then there you go. Now you have two live buttons that people can, you know, select. And if you match, you know, the programmed question right here with, you know, what you've titled the question in the document or the text, then it should link up pretty accurately. Same thing here. Log in, how to access your purchase. Log in, how to access your purchase, right? So these are, are lined up. And then all you're going to do is click on save. And then now if I go to that, you know, back to the website and I can refresh the bot here and I'm probably going to need to just reinstall. Oh, no, there it is. So once you refresh the page, you should see these buttons and then pretty much instantaneously. Now people can interact with your business and basically ans get, you know, answers to questions that they, they ask about your business. And, you know, it's a very simple and easy system to use. So this is just a quick little training to show you guys, you know, how you can implement some more AI and chat GPT for your guys' actual business. If you guys want me to do more, you know, trainings on, on this software and, you know, how to link it to high level and use webhooks and things like that so that when people fill out this uh, live chat widget, it'll go to your, your sub accounts, let me know. But this is just a quick training to show you guys how to use this. And like I said, I'm using this because I get a lot of questions about the products and things that I offer. And if you look at the pricing and you do the math, um, 
to hire somebody to respond to these common questions is just not even comparable to paying a monthly subscription and just having the AI do it for you. So this works really well. This isn't even like a super intensive training where I've asked it very advanced questions and it's been able, able to basically, you know, come up with really good answers, even if, you know, the question itself is not in, you know, explicitly in the document, um, it can still work really, really well. So that's how I'm using Chatbase to automate some of these questions I get about my business. And uh, this is how you can do the same for yours. So give it a try. There's a link below. And if you guys want me to do more trainings on this and the leads features and notifications and all that stuff, um, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.